The fact that I'm even annoyed enough to come talk to you guys about it, <laughs> that says something to me, for me, for my spirit. She proceeds to tell me. Okay, hopefully that stays in place. Now you guys. Whew. I'm actually getting ready for work. I have about an hour to get ready. I don't need that much time because I'm just not in the mood, honestly, to even do a full face today. So that's not gonna happen. Um, but I do. I needed to get some things off my chest because I don't see myself staying there much longer. Like, as you guys know, I'm an entrepreneur at heart regardless, but this just has to be addressed. <laughs> this has to be addressed there's a reason i don't like working for people in the first place i just have to tell you guys about my experience so far i'm currently an employee at ulta originally whenever i submitted my ap application at ulta i did apply for hairstylist but i moved to a new state last year i'm currently living in texas from nevada and if i would have known it would have been so difficult to get my license transferred over from texas i mean from nevada i don't even think that it's difficult i think that it's just getting prolonged for whatever reason because it seems like very simple straightforward step but there's a specific portion of me trying to get everything transferred that's just been on hold for some reason so let me try to get dressed and do my hair i mean <laughs> talk and do my hair at the same time i already have like curl cream and stuff in my hair i'm actually doing my hair in a ponytail today i'm just not in the mood like i don't even feel like going into this place today because of what happened i wasn't really in the mood to go to work yesterday because energetically i just don't feel like on top of me having other things going on i just don't feel like this work environment is in alignment with my spirit um at the end of the day it's still beauty yes i love beauty but the beauty industry can be very fraudulent if i do say so myself and that's not me like i'm a very genuine authentic person so to be in an environment where they're gossiping they're clicky they talk about you behind your back etc it don't sit right with me the general manager on the other hand she is just something else when i first met her I had no reason to feel anything weird about her so her energy just don't sit right with me it just doesn't like i was saying originally whenever i applied for the job there I applied for hairstylist not that i like doing hair but i have a license and i actually like doing makeup to be able to do makeup services i also you have to be a hairstylist doesn't make sense i feel like they should just have a, spe a position specifically for um where's my other edge brush i feel like they should just have a makeup position but i guess from a business standpoint makeup services are not as popular as hair services so because my license isn't transferred over um, i technically can't even work in the salon right now it's been a while too because i've been at ulta now for about four months and i don't know why it's still not finalized if i would have known that it would have took this long i would have did this before i moved like i would have started the process before i moved because it probably would have been a lot easier ponytail is kind of tight i don't know if i'm gonna leave it this tight for the day I don't know, I'm gonna loosen up. You know like when your ponytail too tight, you end up having a headache throughout the day. And going to work is about to give me enough of a headache. I don't need <laughs> my ponytail being too tight. When I first started, I was just like, okay, I'm completely available. But I changed my mind because I was working for myself for so long. So trying to be completely available for this job that doesn't give you much hours, it just didn't make sense to me. So eventually I changed my availability. Fast forward, a couple months later, um, there was a moment when they needed a makeup artist. You guys know, I've been a makeup artist. I was a makeup artist for about three years once I graduated cosmetology school, but I was not technically a makeup artist for Ulta. The manager that hired me, she asked me like, hey, Ashley, would you be able to do a makeup service for tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. Oh, right before I got off at work, another manager came up to me like, oh, can you do another makeup service? So technically I was supposed to be doing two makeup clients that day. Mind you, because I'm not a service provider, there's no way to bring it up in the system. So I agreed to doing both because I'm like, yeah, why not? Like. I actually love doing makeup. I love making people feel beautiful. That was the reason. I need some powder on my eyebrows because I know these girls don't get oily today, especially since I'm not doing a full face. So yeah, I agreed to do the two. Then when I go into work the next day, apparently there was some lady that came in, walked in to get her makeup done. To my knowledge, it was for her wedding. All right, cool, no problem. I've done wedding makeup before. I just wanted some time to kind of prepare myself and have an understanding of what products can we use, what products can't we use, what's the process, like what is the process and procedures for Ulta? I didn't have that opportunity because it was just right then and there for me to do her makeup because there was some miscommunication with her appointment. All right, fine. I go ahead and I do her makeup service. She was kind of talking about her being nervous and like being upset or annoyed about what happened with her appointment because she said that she had an appointment booked, but apparently there was nobody available to do her makeup and something happened which i feel like this is a, re a reoccurring thing that happens at ulta or at least at this location where people think they have appointments and they don't for some reason i don't know what happened but later on they had created some ticket that has never been used before to ring up this service and i'm not an idiot i knew that i wasn't going to be getting directly paid for this service you know but the girl whose makeup i did she did ask me what my name was because i was under the impression and this was my fault because i listened to what another associate said but i was just under the impression that if she did tip at the register i would get cashed out for that because that's how they do it for the service providers i knew i wasn't going to actually get credit 
credit or commission for the service itself but the tip part i was like all right cool because i'm only getting paid my hourly wage to do her makeup typically when i charge for a makeup service it's anywhere from 80 dollars to 100 dollars. so to get paid my hourly wage to do a makeup service is bullshit but i like doing makeup so i still didn't mind it because i genuinely love doing it that much i was like okay whatever but i noticed that the ticket was not rang up because i went up to the register right because i was trying to see like oh did the lady check out like you know because i really wanted to know if i got tipped being completely honest other girl got a tip because she's a service provider for ulta so then i bring it to the manager's attention like oh the lady didn't get rang up for her service then they told me to call her i'm not a service provider but they asked me to call the lady back i knew that she was getting ready for her wedding it was about two o'clock and her wedding started at three she's not about to answer the phone but they told me to call her i called her she didn't answer of course tell the manager both managers and i guess they were frustrated that the service didn't get charged for but then the manager was just like oh you know don't worry about it this was your test run all right cool there's two different managers that i'm talking about one's like a salon manager manager of two different departments and one is a general manager so supposed to be two more people coming in because remember i told you from the day before they told me it was two other people that was supposed to be getting their makeup done and then this one lady was a walk-in technically so they asked me to call the two clients that were supposed to be coming in and confirm that they're coming in for their appointment and i did so even though i'm not a service provider i still did my part and made the phone call that you guys asked me to do about the situation with the girl not paying for her service the salon manager she was like see that's why i don't like having floor people in the salon you call me a floor person yeah, technically I work the floor, but like you could have simply said beauty advisor because that's my position. That's why I don't like having beauty advisors in the salon. But why did you even feel the need to say that? Don't say that in front of the employee. So then they had asked me if I could still do the other people that were coming in. After At this point, I was kind of like, I shouldn't because why? If it's not benefiting me, I was already aware that I wasn't going to get paid for the direct service. So why did you have to come at me like that? The same manager, the salon manager was like, well, you weren't going to get paid for the service anyways. Eventually, I was just like, honestly, that rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, after today, I'm not doing makeup for you guys as a beauty advisor. And then so a little bit later, I go back to them because the people didn't confirm their appointment. So I was like, okay, am I still supposed to be doing these makeup services? I was like, I don't mind doing makeup for you guys. I was like, but not under these conditions. So then the general manager had said, you know, as a prestige beauty advisor, you are able to do makeup services. And I still don't think that's accurate, but maybe they have loopholes on the way that they do stuff. I'm putting an eyeshadow on my brows now. I never even take this long to do my brows, but since I'm talking and I'm antsy, it's just one of them days. I'm gonna do some liner. But yeah, she said that about the beauty advisor position. I was just like, okay, if I was a beauty advisor, then maybe I'll do makeup stories for you guys again, but not right now at this position. Sorry, I get quiet when I do my liner. After I started working there, remember I told you I changed my availability. She said, oh, well, I was gonna ask you about the beauty advisor position, but when you change your avail availability, that took that off the table. I kind of giggled to myself about it. And then I was just like, hmm, how do I use this to my advantage, right? Because if I'm going to be at a job, it needs to benefit me. So then a couple of weeks go by and then I was like, well, if I actually am able to do makeup services based on what I was told, both managers were standing there, salon manager and the general manager. If I'm going to be able to do makeup services here, then why not become a, be a prestige beauty advisor? So then I was like, well, how available does she actually need me to be for this position, right? So so then I go and I talk to her about a month ago. To date, I talked to her about a month ago because she had gave me some like recognition for, I guess, helping because there was just a lot going on and there was a call out and blah, 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 blah. But I was just like, well, this is a perfect time to mention to her that I'm interested in the prestige position now. So I asked her, realistically, what availability do you need me to have open for this position? That is making it a clear, as clear as day that I am opening my availability for this position position since you claimed that you were going to offer it to me anyways mind you i'm still a beauty advisor currently today i'm not going to be there much longer i already know it in my spirit because the fact that i'm even annoyed enough to come talk to you guys about it that says something to me for me for my spirit she told me what she wanted the availability to be she wanted me to open up myself a couple extra hours okay fine i did that i don't remember the full conversation but i said oh you guys probably thought i wasn't serious about this job when i closed my availability and she was like no i just thought you were looking for another job okay i was i was like well yeah i was looking for another job because my hours are always getting cut here because my hours do be getting cut <laughs> i remember one week i started off with scheduled five days for that week and i end up only working eight hours that week what am i supposed to do with eight hours you want me to be available for you to give me eight hours you want me to have my, my availability open so you can give me eight hours okay i addressed that so i was clarifying all these questions right so i can have clarity before i agree to this position i was ready to agree right then and there after i got my clarity so then i asked her how many hours will i be able to get under this position she said she can try to get me 30 hours a week try 
All right, cool. I'll see if you keep up on your word. So I said, okay, let's submit the availability form today. Typically the availability form, based on what I was told, it takes about three weeks to kick in because the first time I updated my availability to what I wanted, it took about three to four weeks to kick in to where I had to keep following up with them. Like, hey, I submitted my availability form X amount of time ago and it still didn't go through. So with this availability, she did it instantly, right then and there. You updated instantly. So then whenever they made the new schedule, I was just like, okay, I see that my shifts have been adjusted to the prestige position that we agreed to so then it was a couple weeks before I actually had to work those shifts I said oh hey I said hey I don't know what to get, what fake name to give her because I'm just not a fake person so I don't know what fake name to give her right now but yeah I said hey um I noticed that my my shifts have been adjusted to the prestige position that we agreed to and she said okay well I still need to talk to district and to corporate because the pay is over a 10 percent increase so it's gonna it has to go through a couple of xyz before it, it, get, it gets pushed through okay fine the week that I spoke to her she said I should have answered by the end of the week you didn't have an answer by the end of the week because I followed up with you, right? Because I'm gonna keep following up with you. I love these lashes. So because the pace didn't go through, the position didn't get, get didn't get finalized, and it's been about three weeks. And she had said the person who was supposed to be making the decision or finalizing it was on vacation. Okay. At this point, it's probably like the second time that I talked to her. Total, I talked to her about four times. I brought it up to her attention. I said, Hey, so tomorrow I'm scheduled from this time to this time, and shift was under the agreement of that prestige pay and position. So then that day before the shift. I I asked her, I was like, okay, well, since it's not finalized yet, is there any way I can work an earlier shift tomorrow? She said, no. She was like, it's only one day that the shift has been adjusted. And I said, but that was what we agreed to under the prestige position to pay. She was like, it's only one day. To her, it's only one day, but to me, it's just integrity. She was like, actually, I don't have time to be looking at the schedule. Okay, but then that same exact day, I don't know if she made the schedule or the other net manager made the schedule, but that same exact day, a whole nother week's worth of scheduling was made for another week out. So you couldn't have looked at, or whoever, you couldn't have asked the manager to look at the schedule. Hey, can you, can you adjust Ashley's shift for tomorrow because her position isn't finalized? No. At that point, I was kind of over it. You say one thing and you do another. She had said, oh, I didn't know you were only opening up your availability for the position. It was clear as day that that was why, because I asked her before I agreed to it. That was the opening question in the conversation. What availability did she realistically need for that position? How do you not understand it? You're pretending like you don't know that's why, because that's exactly what I agreed to. That's exactly what I told you. So in the moment when she asked me that, I said, that's exactly why. I said, if I would have known that my schedule would have been a Adjusted before the position was finalized, I would not have opened up my availability yet. Whenever I really heard the con conversation where it was because I wanted to go move up to prestige to get a feel of moving up in the company. I wanted to see what that felt like, right? Before I decide I want to be a manager, let me move up to prestige position first. First, right? If you guys have other questions, please feel free to ask me if you feel like there's parts of the story that's not clicking. I know you guys could feel my irritation, but if there's parts of the story that's not clicking, um, yeah. And the main reason why I ended up deciding that I don't want the stress of being a manager in the company is because I see that the managers there, like, yes, they have hours, but they just don't seem happy. I don't sit right with me like they complain they be irritated I hear them talking to themselves sometimes like they're working and doing tasks and things like that talking to themselves irritated about certain situations some of the leads tired of training if you're a lead cashier you're a lead cashier right but you're tired of training cashiers okay but that's the position you agreed to there was an, a situation where the lead cashier told me she wanted me to be on register because she didn't want to be on register since she knew that once I left for the day after my shift she was gonna have to be on reg register I don't want to hear that you're putting me on on the register because you don't want to be there because do you think I want to be there? No. I mean, there's people that genuinely like working cash register. I'm not one of those people. I like working hands on with guests, helping them find what they're looking for, helping them find what they need, shade matching, having real human interactions. At the register, you're just checking people out, asking them to sign up for credit cards, getting their information, making sure they have what they, they found what they were looking for. That's why I wanted the prestige position because that's more of a selling position, working the sales floor. Let's jump forward to yesterday. Yesterday, I'm minding my business at work, working my shift. But this is after I was already kind of over the manager because it's like, you playing with me. You say one thing, you do another. Another. my position has not been finalized it's been like a month you're irritated with me for asking now and you actually want me to just move up to, in the company and move to another store that's it that's fine but I don't want to do that so stop trying to press me to do that I don't want to be pushed to be a manager if I haven't even tested out what it is like to be a prestige advisor yet so yesterday she tells me oh hey Ashley I wanted to talk to you I'm like okay she said that there was a, a manager position open at another store and I had told her I was like well due to personal due to reasons in my personal life I'm not interested in moving as a manager right now those are my exact words right and she was just like oh Okay, but I couldn't tell she was kind of like surprised when I said that because I had pressed her for about a month to try to get the prestige position. So now you're shocked that I don't want to be a manager. Manager and prestige are two different positions. They're two different things. There's other girls that are prestige advisors at the store. They've been prestige advisors for a while. One of the girls, I know she's been a prestige advisor because she talked too much and she's been there for over a year. Another girl, she's been there, to my knowledge, she's been there for a couple of years and she's a prestige advisor. So then a little bit later, I guess she came to find me where I was at in the store because she wanted to talk to me to get some clarity 
clarity on where my head was at, right? Okay, she asked me, she was like, so where's your head at? She was like, are you, uh, are you still looking to move up in the company? I said, yeah, I'm just not looking to be a manager right now. And then she proceeds to tell me, y'all could comment below how y'all feel about this situation and why I'm annoyed, because don't try to play me. She proceeds to tell me that the prestige position is only for people that are looking to move up into the company as managers. So I'm going to have to put you back as a beauty advisor. I was just over talking to her. So I said, okay, that's fine. Because at this point I'm done. I don't like that. You're pulling back a position that you never actually gave me because I don't want to be a manager right now. So I said, okay, I was like, well, I'm gonna update my availability right now. I got availability form. I sat there for a while to kind of sit on it. You want me to be completely available just for you to bullshit my hours? Cause there was a week that she had specifically said, oh, no hours are going to be cut next week. But on a Sunday, I realized that there was no manager scheduled with the people that were opening. So on Sunday I messaged her and I said, hey, I noticed that there there was no manager scheduled with us in the morning. She was like, oh shoot, I'll fix it right now. Her fixing it was completely cutting the shifts. You say one thing and you do another. And then for the scheduling that they had just recently put out, I have 17 hours for one of the week. That's not close to 30. And then the week after that, I have 20 hours. That's still not close to 30. I think the only people that she actually likes are people that are slaves to the store. But yeah, that was it. I'm so glad I got that off my chest because the fact that I need to go to work, I needed to like just vent that and get it off my chest. I don't know what time it is, but I know I need to go on a hurry up because my alarm keep going on. I really don't feel like dealing with this manager. Like luckily she's off next week, but like today she's there and I just don't even want to see her face. Like don't fucking talk to me. Oh yeah, and I called HR on her yesterday because I wanted to get clarity. Like what are the requirements for the prestige position? They didn't say anything about you need to want to be a manager for Ulta to be in a prestige position. But her response to a lot of these situations should have told me already that she don't like me. And I can't do nothing about that <laughs> because I know I'm a genuine person. Anyways, if you watched this far into the video, thank you so much for listening to my vent my experience working at Ulta. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna go to work today. Hopefully today's a good day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Please comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see from me because I need to get back filming content because I'm not an employee. I'm an entrepreneur. I need to stop playing with myself. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys. So if you sat through this is me, future Ashley. I'm sitting here editing this video right now. I currently no longer work at Ulta. I quit, today's Friday. I quit on Tuesday morning. Um, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. I felt like being there was so toxic for me. Do you guys see my attitude and my energy throughout this entire video? That's not even my personality to be that irritated and irate over people in a job that I don't care about. So today's the 22nd, film this actually on July second so it's been 20 days but yeah i had a feeling i was gonna end up leaving because i just felt my energy was so off like i felt so tense like after this day i ended up going into work almost every day with crystals in my boob like with selenite clear quartz <laughs> trying to help protect my energy i was so consumed with this job for no reason because as you guys see when i'm talking about how many hours they're giving me uh, how they were cutting my hours like this company clearly did not care about me as an employee and it just was not in alignment like i think i was supposed to quit a long time ago i just got caught up in the loop of like the day-to-day -day of working a job and how you know once you start working a job you, it's really easy for you to get caught up in that uh i guess that cycle of going to work coming home on your off days you know cleaning up doing your laundry jumping back into your work week like it was just so i'm so glad that i didn't make this <laughs> the decision to leave because i feel so much more peaceful like i got so much done today and i feel so proud of myself i'm so glad that i did film this video though because filming this video and re-watching it i had to cut a lot of it out because i was just like dang girl you were so negative you were so irritated but i still wanted to put this video out because i want you guys to know about this experience so you guys can see that just because i'm on this spiritual journey it doesn't mean that i won't ever experience negative emotions of frustration and irritation just negativity in general yeah. <laughs> um, we are not perfect, but the goal is to continue to try your best to be a better version of yourself. Once you realize that something is no longer serving you, let go of it. You don't have to stay and be angry and upset. Being there was really taking me out of my character to where I was literally irritated. Like the management was irritating me. The customers, I haven't, I honestly, I don't think I've ever experienced a customer experience that actually irritated me. Like, And it was just like so many situations where my coworkers were so judgmental of customers. It doesn't even matter, but yeah, I'm out of that situation. I'm so proud of myself for leaving. If you guys are in a situation that you're not happy in, please take action. I know that the universe is always gonna provide for me and I'm gonna be okay okay, my bills are gonna get paid. So I'm not worried too much. I was just like, you know what? I'm about to get back on my shit, work on my content, take care of what I need to do for my future self. And staying at that job was not benefiting my current self or my future self. So yeah, 
<laughs> Thank you guys so much for sitting through this very heavy, dense rant. If you guys want a part two about this experience of me working at Ulta, let me know, comment down below, because now to date, <laughs> the manager literally tried to pretend like she never denied me of the promotion. She had stated that I said I didn't want to move up into the company at all. I'm like, this is wild. Like there was so many different things that happened. I found out that we're, like all the, the new hires were getting paid more than the people that were hired, even when I got hired and I've only been there for like five months. So new people were getting paid more than us. A girl that was there a year before us was getting paid almost $2 less than I was getting paid. I'm just like, oh my God, like all of that was just so toxic because that's just it's messed up like that's just the way that corporate america is though like if you don't speak up you're still going to be getting paid a low amount and one of the other beauty advisors had told me that the manager told her back in december that she was going to be getting a raise to the same much that the new people are getting paid and that never happened like she was so sad when she found out how much the new people were getting paid like and i felt bad for her too because i'm like dang like the new people were getting paid more than i was and she was getting paid less than this less than me two dollars less than me so i'm like this is crazy like how is there so many different quality in pay rates treat your employees better if you want people to stay and be loyal to your company you got to treat them better even that was a whole problem because you know if i'm ruffling feathers if i'm talking about pay wages because management doesn't want you talking about pay pay wages even though it's not against the law you know so it's just like i could not do it anymore it was just too toxic like it was not me i had to go if you guys currently work at ulta and you love ulta good for you <laughs> If you are currently working there and you are suffering, it's just not sitting right with you. Girl, take some action. This company do not care about you. I hope you guys learned something from this little video. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, you guys.